Hi, just a short video on how to test some different kinds of batteries because I'm sure some of you will have batteries lying around so I'm going to start with just the uh, triple A's and I put the meter on um, volts DC and the black to the negative at the bottom and the the positive and that battery's got 0.2 of a volt in and they're supposed to be a 1.5 volt so that one is pretty much completely dead We'll just try the next one here 1.5 so that's a good one so we'll put that to one side 1.4 that's still okay that one it's not to its full capacity but it's not it's not, not too bad I'll try this one 0.5 so that one's no good and we'll try a couple of these AA batteries Again, should be 1.5 volts for these. That one's 1.47, so that one's, you know, okay. I'll try this one. 1.49, so yeah, that one's not so bad either. Now we've got a C cell, so we'll try this one. And a 1.5, so yeah, that one's good. 9 volt batteries, little square ones here. Um, it doesn't matter if you get the terminals round the other way, we'll just see a minus on the meter. So we'll we'll just stick the probes on and Yeah, so 9.1, so that one's a good one. Like you said, if you had the the probes round the wrong way, it would just show minus. So it would still show you the voltage, it would just have a minus sign in front of it, that's all. Uh some of the little LR44 batteries there. Again, these are 1.5 volts and the positives on the outer case on these. And the negatives on the um the little bit in the middle here. 1.5 so that's a good one and this is actually a CR 2025 you get the 2032s in a lot of things as well again positives on the the outside of it and the uh, the negatives on the middle and that's 3.27 because these are 3.3 or 3 volts sorry so 3.3 volts well, 3.27 so yeah that's a good one some 18650 batteries here, so now obviously these are rechargeable, but these are old ones, these, just to show you that, uh, yeah, nothing in there, they just need uh, disposed of. Uh, we'll try this one here, these were out of the ring doorbell that I previously fixed, 3.5, now these did charge up to about 3.6, so 3.5 just lost a little bit of the voltage since they were charged. And this one measures 3.2, so this one's actually lost more. So they've probably got uh, some internal resistance in there because, like you say, they weren't the best. So I think uh, you know they have started to fail inside. So uh, last battery I've got here is an alarm battery. They're sometimes used in kids' toys or alarm systems. Sometimes spotlights and things. We'll just. Uh, measure that now this should measure about 12 volts fully charged 12.7 so yeah so that's fully charged you can also do the same with your car battery as well a fully when and you can check the alternator as well because when the alternator is running you should have about 13.8 on your uh, car on your car battery when that's running there that should if you if your car's running and you put the probes on the car battery you should get 13.8 when the car stopped, it should drop down to somewhere about 12.7 or round about there like that. If you get a reading of 11, that means the battery's fairly discharged and 10 or so, that means, yeah, it's definitely flat. So, if you found this video helpful, please hit the like button. If you want to see more like it, please subscribe. Any comments or questions, please leave it in the comments section below. And as always, have a great day. Thanks for watching.